Good morning, good morning. Hello, family. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've been here. Uh, listen, yes, it has been a minute, but I'm so thankful. But I'm so thankful. Sometimes that minute could be a time of true reflection. Okay. How is everyone doing? How is your week so far? Today is Thursday, and your girl Kimunto here, neighborhood veggie dealer Mama Boga, um, is here because I am thankful. I am truly, truly thankful on this thankful Thursday. And I'm just going to share a little bit why I'm thankful. There's so much that I'm thankful for, but I am just going to be really grateful for god's love for me and you god's love for me and you you see the caption i have right there and um it's just been a revelation as i'm just really seeking god just cultivating that deeper connection with god because in this life honestly it can feel empty it can feel void but it's only the love of god that can fill that void. I, it may feel like I'm <laughs> uh, giving a sermon at this morning or I'm preaching, but I am in that grateful space right now. And so I'm just sharing because I'm thankful. I am thankful for God's love for my life. And uh, my little caption says that I am a thread in God's tapestry of life. And um, let's go back and see what my Bible says that before you and I were formed in I'm, I'm actually I was taking a walk so I'm heading back home before you and I were formed in our mother's wombs guess what God knew you before you were formed God knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb. What does that mean? He actually knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb and he foresaw what my future was going to be like before I was even formed in my mother's womb. I'm just so grateful for that. And I've always been, but it just hit me differently this week. And um, that's why I'm even more grateful about it. And this is what hit me about that realization this week that the God of the universe who sent his only son to die on the cross for you and I so that we may have life and have that life in abundance. We've short-chained that love of God because sometimes I feel I'm not worth his love. Sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy as a sister. I'm not worthy as a mother. I'm not worthy as a friend. I'm not worthy as a wife. And that is just that voice of the enemy trying to take you and I from the love of God, from the cradle of God's love. And who said that God never loves us? No, he loves us unconditionally. So I'm so grateful this morning for God's love for my life. And I just want to share that with you as well. And when you think about that, when you think that I am a thread in God's tapestry, that is such a beautiful thing. Like, the masterpiece of God that he created this world. He knew where Kemunto will fit, where my part will be in that tapestry, in that beautiful masterpiece that he created. My thread is right there in that life. So that means I am in this world for a purpose, right? That means I was born with a purpose. And this has come to full circle here, and that's why I am saying that I'm so thankful on this Thursday because each one of us, I was born for a purpose, right? And sometimes we go through life not really knowing exactly what that purpose is. And many times we're like, God, please show me what is my purpose. But you know what I've realized is sometimes we need to come to God and say, God, here I am. I'm available. I want to do your will. And he will truly, truly do that for you. Um, this past, last year, 
I just just felt like you know I've always felt that you know what God was calling me for more I was grateful for more <laughs> let me take you back <laughs> you know I am child number eight in my family so of course my mom and dad when they had me conceived me I was just another child I was another daughter number eight so I, I literally call myself number a middle child okay and um, of course when they had all of us I'm sure they and they did I know mom prayed for all of us and dad worked hard to make sure we had what we needed and all that and um, sure they were like praying for our children for greatness God please take care of them protect them but God did not just see me as number eight, okay? <laughs> God saw me and he knew that this day I will be here talking to you guys. God knew that I will be somebody one day because we are all somebody. None of us is born unworthy. No, those are labels we give ourselves. None of us is born unworthy. None of us is born with no purpose. No. And it is sad that sometimes we choose to walk through life purposeless, feeling like I'm not worthy. I don't have that education. You know, I was born in a poor family, so I guess I'm meant to be. No, we are all rich. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Listen. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that the Lord put that in my spirit. Look at King David in the Bible. And I said it might feel like I'm preaching this morning, but the Lord has really been good. And I just feel so incredibly blessed. So I'm so thankful for God's love. Look at King David. What did he do? Uh, I'm going to sit here and we talk for a little bit. Look at King David. What did he do? King David, he was a mess, right? But still a man after God's own heart, right? <laughs> yeah, King David was a mess. He sure was. <laughs> King David was a mess, he sure was. Um, I'm, I'm just here. I came around to look at my uh, my tower. Let me show you. I just came around to look at it. We had power outage the other day and the plants were a mess, but they're coming back. Yesterday I had a salad from here. It was really nice. It was really nice. And I was wondering what this was because I planted them and I was like, what is this? It's actually basil. It's purple basil. It made my salad taste really good. Anyway, I've been... Uh, sidetracked so let me uh, go back here and we talk so <laughs> king david a man after god's own heart you, you, you know your bible right you know what he did he was a murder he was an adulterer he, i mean he did a lot but that man hey <laughs> and that's one of my favorite scriptures and uh, sometimes when i don't feel worthy i'll be like you know i have to speak affirmations to myself and i'm telling you do the same there are times you just feel like okay who am i where was i created what am i here for david i'm pretty sure he stood before a mirror somewhere and they said i am fearfully and wonderfully made so king david said that to himself and when you read you saw the things he did how many times he went to god honestly asking for forgiveness and wanting god to do uh, justice to his enemies you know it, it tells you that we are no different but God knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs created us with a purpose and so you and I need to live that purpose-driven life now I'm sharing this because last year um, during COVID towards the end July or so I was like Lord I really really need to tap into my potential and uh, guys sometimes you are on social media you listen to people you see what people are doing and you're like ah oh, it is on his out they are just running their mouth or whatever there's a lot of value in this social media if you can pick and choose what you think is within your lane and uh, borrow a leaf from somebody you know none of us was born knowing everything we learn as we go i believe i'm a lifelong learner i can learn from my children i can learn from anybody so uh a, a dear sister her name is purity ateku she was uh, sharing how she had really enjoyed um life coaching with one of our kenyan sisters gina dero shout out gina dero happy birthday to your sister 50th birthday so this young lady when she shared that 
I was like, it tagged on my spirit. I'm like, I need to check out who this Jean is and what she does. Lo and behold, honestly, that same day I went, looked at her Facebook, listened to her, and I'm like, oh my goodness. We have whoo, Alyssa Nichols from the continent. We have Alyssa Nichols from Kenya. I was so intrigued with her work. And I said, I want to sit in her class. I really want to drink from her knowledge, her expertise and all. So I did. That was the best investment. Yes, I paid for the class. You know, this coaching is not free. They've invested money themselves. So I paid for the class. And guys, that was the best thing I did. 2020, that was a great investment. Now, fast forward. Um that investment and she had been doing that i think for i guess four or five years now uh, we ended up meeting up this last weekend 100 plus women i've never met any one of these people in person but we all met this last weekend can you can you think of all this beautiful african sisters you know, most of us were from Kenya because I guess we grafted it towards Jean. She's from Kenya, but there was people from Uganda. We had people from the islands. So she's an African life coach. You know, anybody from African descent, I'm telling you. Can you imagine a room of 100 plus women all there, purpose driven, living purpose driven lives? Women who have learned to dream again. They are just not chasing dreams anymore, but they've learned to dream again. They've embraced their vision and they have invited God, the creator or whatever their higher power is into their space. And they are doing big things, living purpose-driven lives. They are living purpose-driven lives, leaps and bounds. I'm telling you, you're sitting in a room of where there's no envy, there's no competition, people lifting as they climb no shenanigans you know <laughs> no motionaires you know if there was motion it was very minimal and then we bounce right back <laughs> to just really drinking from each other and sharing and gleaning from each other wisdom it was incredible it was a full weekend my cup is still full and i'm like lord how did i find myself in this space only because I stayed open. I allowed myself to receive. I allowed myself to look at social media and say, I am going to check this woman out and see what she's all about. And then I found myself in this space this last weekend. If you can go to Facebook and just uh, type in hashtag, I am Africa. I am Africa 2021. I am Africa uh, Life Coach or Remerging Africa you will see thousands of posts that just flooded social media this last weekend. That's how incredible it was. It was conversations that were building, conversations that were uh, intriguing, conversations that were inspiring, empowering, but also conversations that were motivating, but also conversations that left me wanting to really rediscover who I am, to really dig deeper, love myself a little more so I can be able to love others. Self-love. It was, it was incredible. So why am I saying that? I'm saying that to say that if you've stopped dreaming, please, it's time to dream again. If you don't know what your purpose is, please, Seek somebody that has the same passion like you or something that you see that, you know, gra gravitates towards what your passion is, what you love to do, and, this, and, and try to um, figure out what that is. We each are born, born with a gift. We all have gifts and talents, but some of them, we have to work on them. We have to develop them. We have to grow them. We have to be intentional about them. But if you know what you're gift it what your talent is and what are you passionate about go after that Kimonto, I, I knew that i enjoyed serving people i enjoyed working with people 
and that's why I went to nursing. That's why I went to do nursing. But I was sick and tired of just passing medications, telling people about the medicines they are going to take, the side effects that those medications have. And so when we were hit with a health crisis and I found out that we can heal ourselves, which really I thought I knew, but I guess I didn't. You know, we all grow up in this faith-based homes and families. Most of us, uh, if you are Seventh-day Adventist, I am not calling people out, but you grew up with a health message. So you know exactly what God says about our bodies, right? But sometimes we choose not to do what's right. Uh, but through this health crisis, I discovered that plants really heal. The Bible says actually plants are for the healing of the nation. You know, when we grew up, our grandparents, I remember you will be having a cold or malaria or, you know, over here it's flu. And guess what? <laughs> it's called mitishamba you know the herbs they have traditional herbs and then our, our grandparents our parents will actually boil that and that's exactly what people are doing now during covid will boil different herbs and as it's steaming they will cover your head there and then you inhale man all this heat all these different aroma and some of them could smell good and some of them were terrible and you will just bury your head in there and you inhale all this who you're like it's hot it's hot but by the time you lift your head out of that steam you are breathing your chest has eased up and they'll do that over and over and isn't that what people are doing now we're being told steam yourselves during covid because the heat will kill the viruses and also when you're steaming with all these other natural things, the ginger, the garlic, it's a natural antibiotic, by the way. And then you're inhaling that into your lungs and it helps. So I am saying that to say that, you know, if you have that passion, you know what it is, pursue it. So I found out that plants actually heal our bodies. I was like, wow, because when I flooded my body, I flooded my son's body with 30 plus plants, uh, fruits and vegetables and now omegas and I saw that his asthma got under control and then his inflammation in the body subsided the leaky gut was repaired like the plant food literally restored the microbiomes the biota oh my goodness I was like wow so guess what Kimunto did I chose to pursue that passion I chose to pursue it and that's why you see me here every time saying, I am your neighborhood veggie dealer. I am Mama Mboga. Because I am proud to bring healing to myself, to my family, to the people that I love, and to you, my Facebook friends. So hit me up if you want to learn how plants can heal your body. Mimi see me to Shamba. <laughs> I am not um, uh, a herbalist or anything like that. But through the education I've received in this healthy living community, I have learned that proper nutrition brings healing in our body. So that's what I'm passionate about and that's what I do. So I found my purpose. I am walking in it. I am living in it. And I'm asking God to grant the blessing, the wisdom, the understanding, and allow me open the ways and the paths in which I need to walk. To be able to bring this blessing to other people so if you like what i'm sharing thumbs up some hearts please okay some hearts some hearts some hearts and you can share this video you know tag me or tag somebody under my videos and just just send them and uh, this information is not for everybody but if it's making sense to you reach out plant heal my friends plant heal Sisi wa Africa, Sisi wa Kenya especially, we love our meat. Don't get me wrong, I love my meat, but let's reduce the portions. Put a smaller portion on that plate, okay? And then flood it with the rest of the vegetables. And not just kuma managu, you know, and saga all the time. Get some rainbow colors. Go out there and get some yellow uh, vegetables. Go out there and get some purple vegetables, okay? So that is why... I have my plants here. I decided instead of doing the green, uh, green, what is this? Green basil. I said, I'm going to do purple. 
instead of doing some green lettuces, I'm gonna do some purple here. Of course, I have some greens as well, but I have mixed colors. So, and I have yellow squash, not squash, zucchini, and I do have also green zucchini. So I am growing a variety on this thing right here. I have um, green uh, Swiss chard, but I also have the purple Swiss chard. So just enjoying different colors. This watercrest, my people from Kisi, where are you? This watercrest, it used to be in uh, Etente. Etente. My niece Alice, how are you? Remember Etente? You know, this used to grow there. This was weeds. But guess what? This is good. Hey, squeeze in Nakula easy. I eat those. Those are, those are really nutritious. You can eat them raw or saute them a little bit on fire or just wash them nicely and cut them and put them in salad you know so this girl from the village who used to eat only sukuma and um sukuma is called green scale uh, managu chinsaga and uh, risosa now i'm open to possibilities i've eaten some vegetables that i never thought i would eat so plants heal guys i'm saying that i'm saying all that to say that plants heal all right so kimto here is going to get ready for work but it was thankful thursday and i was just saying how thankful i am that i stayed open in 2020 i was able to meet my africa life coach sat in her class yes i paid dollars in that class we need to get out of that mentality that oh i'm not gonna pay somebody to tell me how to live my life no guys we need, to life, life, we need to learn life skills. We need to perfect our skills. We need to, uh, we each have a purpose, a dream. You're probably walking in it, but you need some support. You need some personal growth. You need some self-development so you can take that passion, that dream to another level. And that is what Kim has done. And that's what 100 plus women that have sat under Gina Dero's class have done. And now this last weekend, we were there celebrating each other, lifting as we climb and a sisterhood like no other. So I am so blessed. I never knew anybody in that uh, space. I flew out there by faith and I said, I'm gonna have a good time. I went there with an open mind. I'm like, I'm not going there to look for a click or anything. I'm going there because I want to be blessed and I want to be a blessing. Free spirited, Kemunto. That's exactly what I brought in. And that's exactly what I received back. What are you putting in the universe? The universe delivers. Are you staying closed minded? Are you just keeping safe with your group where either you are just up to no good? And I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but are you lifting each other? Are you motivating each other to do better than you are? Okay, if you're the smartest in your group, hey, it's time to add or seek another group where you are in between so you can be lifted a little higher. That's what Kimto has been doing. That's what I'm up to. And I'm just thankful to God for having allowed me that free spirit, you know, to stay open-minded. Okay, you too can do the same. So this thankful Thursday, I'm thankful that I am, I am living a purpose-driven life. I'm very passionate about helping other people to enjoy better health, to jumpstart their health. And uh, I am grateful that plants heal and God is using me as a conduit to support and help other people in that way. So God has been so good to me. I'm forever grateful to him. And for you today, especially, I'm so thankful that you're spending this time with me. But I want to challenge you. If you're feeling some other way, if you're feeling like, you know, I will never become something, I will never mount something, what is there for me to do in life? Go look at yourself in the mirror like King David did and just stretch your arms out and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God saw the best in me and go out there and win, okay? Avan, this is your neighborhood veggie dealer, my mambo girl. Kemunto. So I love you guys. Mwah. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Mwah. And go out there and win. Keep an attitude of gratitude today and every day. Okay? All right. Don't let anybody dampen your day. Just know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're created for a purpose. And now go walk in your purpose. 
All right, take care. Oh, thank you. Thank you, family. Thank you for hanging out with me. Felista Clark, thank you for watching. My niece Alice, thank you. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon over there, right? It's good morning here. Jemima Kemunto, yes, my namesake. How are you? How are you? Good to see you guys, all right? Be blessed, be blessed. If you liked what I shared, please tag someone. If somebody came into your mind and you would like them to, to connect them with me so I can support them on their healthy journey and uh, share with them about plant power, I am here. And this, you don't need a whole shamba, two, eight, two, five acres to grow all these different vegetables. You know, to get you set up, okay? All right? All right, and we are in more than 26 countries. We are in 26 countries with these amazing plant powders, and you can always get them, okay? Take care. Bye. Happy Thankful Thursday. Attitude of gratitude. God loves you, and I love you too.